Welcome to United View. Welcome to another episode of the Flex and KG Show. Phone guy. I want to call it. I don't have capacity. <laughs> I never expected it. I never expected it. Go on, do the flex. It's all there. It's all going off. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad you put that on there. Yeah. What was that for again? Oh, that was a Fulham was one. Fulham when, um, that was, was all going off, it though. Was all going off. It, it, was, was, it was all going off. He got a long band. He got a long band. He just about to bust case. And he said sorry as well. Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bless him. Come back just in time to face us. You know what I mean? But it's all right, we've got another game before that. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot to talk about, man. We're going to start off with some transfer news. We're going to be talking about Kim Min Jae. Kim Min Jae. You know what, that boy. Whoever was yes. that, no, I think it's United Scout. Is. United Scout is called he... crazy. Didn't even think he was a real person. We said, oh, bro, <laughs> stop, man. Remember, it, we used to say consistently. Yeah. Just stop with and that. enough. Enough's exactly. enough. Exactly. So we're going to be talking about Kim and Jay just in two seconds. We'll be talking about how KG feels and how you guys feel about what more we need. F- prospect of finishing third. Mm-hmm. Is that important? Do we need to do that? Is that a thing? Do we do you care? Yeah. Um, and obviously, th- um, there's also a Musa Diaby links as well. Um, we're linked to him. I so. don't really know him like that. Yeah. Like, I don't know anything. I'm not, I'm I'm not, seen anything. I've not, I'm not, I'm not seen like loads and loads of him. Plays. But again, the, the point that is reiterated with this is that it depends on who owns Manchester United. Which, which, is the, which is the same with absolutely anything and we're trying Neymar to do right now. And the Neymar conversation, which is hilarious. And you didn't get your ha- chance to have your yeah. say on that, so I'm going to ask you what you think about Neymar. But just quickly, what Ben Jacobs did say um, earlier on today. Jeez. He said that Manchester United are front runners to sign Kim Min Jae. Uh, they're looking to activate his release clause um, between the first and... Imagine, his release clause is only for 14 days. Wicked. It's between all 15, whatever, but it's between the 1st and the 15th of July. Mm-hmm. That's the only time the release clause is there. And it's 50 million euros. And Manchester United are front runners to sign him. Quality. Um, also coming out uh, from... Who else? Oh, yes. From Sport Witness, well, Sport Witness have regurgitated it uh, from Core Sport, Italian mm-hmm. outlet. Uh, Manchester United are capable of investing 58. million euros um, to buy Kim and Jay. United are working on carrying out this operation by triggering his release clause. The magical atmosphere at Old Trafford, Old Trafford, can entice Kim Min Jay to join. Yeah, man, and it's good. We, like, we haven't had Do we need a South Korean player yes. since what Jason Park. Since the legendary Jason Park. Oh, I think he's just out of shot. Oh no, he's just behind the yeah, board. He's yeah, just yeah. behind the Yeah, there you go. Just there, behind the just is. next to Bex, just yeah. behind the metal. We haven't had another South Korea since Jason Park, and it's good. Like again, some people just talk about how big the country is and marketing wise and stuff, but we're getting a really good defender. You know, sometimes the, the clubs will do that, say, ah, oh, let's just let's do this Try as and a tick a box. Yeah, like, like tick yeah. a box and stuff. No, you're getting someone really strong, um, dominating, and you like even it's, it's the thought of, wow, Martinez and Kim and Jay, right? I'm not getting rid of the Rolls Royce Ray fan. I'm not getting rid of him. It's totally. the end. It's not over. It's the end, it's not, man. man. We, have to, we have to manage him, We're though. spending peas on Kim and Jay, man. It means no, we're going to start edging out the ghost No, we're getting rid of Maguire. Man. Yeah, but you need Lindelof still there as well. Nice. No, this is no. Nah, we need four. We need, need four. four. Yeah, hundred percent. Four real 100%. ones that he can rely on. Hundred percent. No you more know? player FC. Him right saying, here. him saying to himself, "Hey guys, I'm gonna play um, sure in the centre back position yeah. is a problem. Not like it's a. It's not a huge it's a problem because we're losing our left back. Like, yeah. You're not supposed yeah. to do that, right? So then you want to have um, centre backs that he can rely on, especially when you think about his captain. So while it feels like a lot of money to spend, I feel like you get Maguire sold for that kind of 30 to 5, 40 million. So you're doing pretty much, it feels, for me, it does feel very much like for like. Mm. But then there's still other positions because we're still a little bit light at this, at, in the centre back position because we have lost like a Phil Jones. Because four maybe is not enough. We lost Phil Jones and Twan Zabi. And by. But, but the thing is, is that none of them have been in the fold for. T- Phil, that's Jones, true. Phil Jones don't count. No, that's, that's true. But Phil I'm just Jones saying that you don't, don't you feel like we should bolster that up a little bit? Nah, should... If you get Kim and Jeff and get rid of Maguire, that's fine. And keep Lindelof. You don't think we need anything else? Like, no, one because more? then. You, then mm, that's li- not, not, with, not with what we've got to spend and what we've got to do. just gets the. Like, the nah, bring. just. just it's just all right. You got four. You got four. What's wrong with that? And you still got Luke Shaw as a fifth if you need it. If you need it. And that's and that's like way down the line. If you've got a, a like you got to remember, Maguire gets overlooked because mm-hmm. he's not good enough. He's suppo- oh, Maguire's had- supposed to be that that role that Maguire is. Is supposed to be what. Remember what Lindelof was earlier in the season. Yeah. He wasn't playing. He was fourth choice even behind Maguire. But if you need him to come in, he's going to come in and he's going to play and he's going to do a good job. But we have an issue though. What? 
What if we have the situation that we had when we lose our two centre backs, our two starting centre backs? Then you got Kim Min Jae and you got Lindelof. Lindelof, disgrace, cheat. That's it. You're an absolute disgrace. You're a cheat. It's my agent. Agent, you know. See what I'm saying about these man, but they just switch. I let it go. Rich and switch, bro. Take that. Could be. It could be Marvel. <laughs> it could be Marvel. You have to take it live on the stream. Don't say anything personal, but not live. But maybe just take it for back. Like, let's see. If it's nothing, say, I can't talk about it. It's twice. Oh, it's my Hello? Hi, JJ. It's Emily. How are you? How are you doing? You alright? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah? It's Marvel. It's going to be Marvel. It's going to be Marvel. This is what it is. It's going to be Marvel. It's going to be Marvel. Nah, I don't want to do it. Nah, I don't want to do it. Turn down Marvel. Alright. Turn down Marvel. Alright. He turned down Marvel. Alright, thanks. Bye. BBC something, man. Some BBC thing. Just casually just turned down BBC. I don't want to do that. Just casually just... <sighs> I was like, remember, you always go, 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 go. And guys, and no, it's some, it's some BBC thing guys, I don't want to do. Remember on the stream, on the full view, yeah, this guy said, that's what billionaires just do. And we said, uh. and we said, yeah, we said he lives different. Apple TV, Sue the Kiss, all them man, Golden Globe, Emmy, this, that. D this guy, hold on a second. This guy flew, yeah, I by himself was, to LA. I yeah, thought it was, nah. he's got styled everything. Wait, no, double on a he, double call, yeah. Yeah, you got pick up. Nah, I've done because I've done some wicked auditions. I was like, some could be something big, <laughs> and he just went BBC. Nah. Now, you, in your head, nah. what I was thinking about, it, it wasn't that. And Don't worry, man. It's all right. Let's keep next, the next whatever the, the next, next one. Is, the next one. We just Let's put my moving. phone on silent as well, though. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. So cheap. funny though that happened. That is. Um, <sighs> with what we've got, you were saying yeah. is that not still a problem? Yeah, I'm, I'm like... saying no because then you got four, and not just you got four where the fourth one's like the Maguire. Oh, anything but him. So really, you've only got three. You don't want to play him. True. No, it's genuine four. Genuine like four. if if and look, touch yeah, touch the wood and that yeah, if. How often do you lose your two centre backs like that for long? You don't. You don't. That never happens. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you, one, you'd be extremely unlucky to lose both like that. Right now. But even if you did, mm -hmm. you've got Kim Min Jae and you've got Victor Lindelof. And that solid. is solid. solid. And if something popped down from then, um, also you, you, can, you can bring in. Um, Luke Shaw into left. Into, into, and it, into, it works. And that's it works. a lot. And that's fifth. And that's still fifth got that young scenario. Kid. We've still got the kid that we just pulled back. No, oh, the, the oh um, Alvaro uh, yeah. Fernandez. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we've still got him. Yeah, and it will depend if we keep him in the squad or not, but you know, he might he's go out alone again. But. Um, no, I think he's got to be around. Especially if you're doing that thing when you bring in... Yeah, but he wants Molasses to probably kick off. Like, it's his second... Yeah, but the longer the time goes, the less raw he gets. That's the whole point. True. Like, he's raw now because it's his first ever season at this True. level at Man United. Second season, you expect him to be a little bit more calm. You give him the full pre-season to have a look at him, though. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, you will a lot of players. Like, yeah, 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 Like, Ahmad and stuff like that. And, who else we got coming back? What's his face? Um, uh, oh, Hannibal. Mesbury. Hannibal Mesbury, yeah. Not the same feeling for Hannibal, oh, no. to be honest. It's just talking about... And there about... was at one stage, isn't it? It's crazy. See how hard it is to make... It's I remember hard. when he was in the under-21s or whatever it is... They were gassing him. He And not just they were gassing him. Zidane the videos, was another one was Oh, Chong gassed. used to do it. Chong, Chong was... you just see the, him and, him yeah, and Zidane, yeah, yeah, him yeah, and Mesbury, yeah. Hannibal, their hair was just bouncing and they're yeah. just running. You're going, rah, these Yeah, no, no, no. Rah! When me and Josh was on tour in 2019, Chong was the guy. The guy. Like, the one oh, he's going to be the about. one. And it just shows you, isn't it? How he, hard it is to be the one. So that's why I need, like, the little difference with the Ganachos here and there. But just last thoughts on Kim Min Jae, though. I think that's an excellent signing. Mm. That's, like a, that's like someone that can really challenge the first team and beat and start. So really excited about that type of player coming in and representing Man United. Solid colossal, big, um, good in the air. These are the things that you're looking for and he can get across the pitch at like a, a good speed, right? To the so, point where, like I said, it's tight for the ghost of Rafe the Phantom mm. if he comes. Like, but only because of availability there. though. No, he's going to, the is ghost it, of going to be there because he's, he, he's the guy. He sees so will it just be him until he's injured or when he needs a rest and then you bring in Kim and Jay and then see how Kim and Jay does. The problem is, and then, as he gets in, when that guy gets in. It might in, look wicked. It might look wicked. Him and because remember Timber's supposed to be someone that our manager really likes. Yeah. I haven't heard no Timber news. Nah. But also remember Ajax sat in this same seat where you are and he was like, listen, he's not ready yet. Yeah. They said that. They said they said when Martinez left, they realised how much like he was helping, man. Yeah. They said like Timber's before you they said before you leave Ajax to go on and like 
do the damn thing. Yeah. You need to be like the man at yeah. Ajax. Yeah. Like Donny van der Beek at the time was the man yeah. before he was it. Do you know what I mean? Lissandra Martinez was, when he there, play of the season? Play of the season. Anthony was Humble doing bits, he was the man. man. Like who else was is the man? Gravenberch was the man. Yeah. Like, yeah. you need to be that guy. And they're saying, they're saying like... Kudus is that now. And Kudus is that now, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's looking to leave as well. What are you, what are you trying to... No, I, I, at first, at first, I just want a light 40. He's a 10, like, can play off the front. He can play off the front. Left can as do well. The... He's not really a striker, buddy. Yeah, no, but because I've got bigger... I got, yeah. Got bigger, bigger fish to fry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got bigger fish to fry. Um, I've got a Don't focus. Don't blame it on Kudus. Don't blame Kudus. <laughs> Don't blame Kudus. <laughs> Is that ever going to die? Never. Because you have to say you've got bigger fish to fry. And that's the... <laughs> no, but on a serious note, mm-hmm. um, just... Moving it forward, there's other positions that I want to sort out, but I know that there's. I don't know if you got anything about Neymar or anything that's well, going we're on. Well, we're going to talk about that because let, earlier on today as well, um, what uh, Sky Carve was saying. What was he now, saying? This is what he said. Yeah. What we're being told is Manchester United have indeed been approached by intermediaries. Intermediaries about signing Neymar from PSG. Now, they are one of a number of clubs um, who have been contacted about this potential transfer. Now, while a deal might make sense from a commercial point of view, it's my understanding, it's key, it's my understanding and what I'm being told and what I'm hearing is, is that it's not something Manchester United currently view as a target, so under these under current these owners. current owners. So at the moment, it would appear that Manchester United would be looking to pass up on the opportunity to bring the 30, 31 year old to Old Trafford. Now, yeah. indeed, what that means is uh, he still will be available for transfer. He is still a football player. He is still <laughs> sponsored. <laughs> he is still oh, sponsored gosh. by Puma. And he will wear two pairs of socks during every, every, or one pair of socks, but a sock on each leg during every professional game he plays. Thank you so much, Kami. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> My life flecky. Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> flecky. My life flecky. Um, no, um, you know what, the Neymar thing, I, I, it was weird. I was looking at the timeline, I was like... I think, do you know what, sorry. Go on. You can say it. Because it's you. What you thought I was excited? I could just imagine you Tesco, yeah, or just driving, and, and like, actually no, worse than Tesco, different one, different yeah. one, different. I could imagine you just listening to like Joe Badass or you yeah, like yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, whatever. Be... And you go, just put it. Neymar could that could be all right, you know. <laughs> no, nah, but imagine Neymar OT though. No, no, like, I, I could mean, imagine. I tried to you... play with the four, so this is it. I tried to play with the four. You want Neymar in it? No, I don't. I don't want Neymar. Do like... you want Neymar? No, no. What are you saying? What are you saying? Neymar's not better than Rashford. You say Neymar's not better than Bruno. You say Neymar's not better than Martial. No, you say Neymar's not, not better what than we need. It's not what we need. So Neymar's not good enough. He's good. He's really good, but it's not what we need. I think Neymar should go to Newcastle. So Newcastle, where would Newcastle better than us then? No, just saying that they They're don't. They're bigger club a... than us. Why should you go to a bigger club than us? Not like that. But who, you, you who are they? Who are Newcastle? Who are Newcastle? Uh, who are they? Uh, who, 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 when, did they won, get... when did they last win the league? I say sorry to I sorry to, to Danny, Danny Warwick. <laughs> No, but you read deep it though. Don't you feel like Newcastle? It's like a little. It's a. It's a signing that says, "Hey guys, we're trying to be a serious club." Even though they got Champions League, but we're getting that. Yeah, we have Saint Maximum, but we just get. We've just gone like that. Are you with me? Mm. Now for us, just where we are in in our development of things, we do have Rashford, we do have Ganacho, and we do have Sancho. That all want to operate on the left hand side. Name on better than Sancho. He is. But I'm saying that the, the issue that you do have is Rashford's your main one. Unless you're saying you're going to move Rashford into the striking position, because me and you. What's that look like then? You don't want to do that. Rashford, you want to play Rashford as our, as our main striker? Name on the left. Jeez. Is that rubbish? It's not what I wanted. Was it rubbish? It's not rubbish, but what it's not happen? what I wanted. What would happen? Rashford can't be the striker. Oh. Rashford has to be on the left hand side. Okay. It's Rashford on the left-hand side, then yeah. Ganacho. Okay. So that's what I'm really trying to do. And now if you now say to, Rashford's got to be promised stuff, right? Yeah. He's got to be promised you're going to play in this team. Especially someone that's re-signed a new contract. Yeah, he's about he's to, got yeah. to be promised first team football, at least, or crucial. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, one of those ones. The squad now, role's got to be it's, important. It's, it's very important, yeah. right? He knows now that, yes, 
the young kid, the young pup in Ganacho is really challenging for that shirt. But if, he, if Rashid does what he needs to do, he should keep on to that shirt. Now, if you bring in, um, if you brought in a Neymar, you have to promise him. You have to say to him, hey, you're, you're leaving clubs, guaranteed stuff. Playing behind Kane. You want to play eight? Drop Bruno. Can he play that position? Play with Neymar, isn't it? No, he can't do that, though. He can float. Of course he can. No, but you don't want to do Neymar that, though. Neymar play off the striker. Of course he can. No, but why would you do that? You give it to the person that's going to pass the ball to him and play. Neymar's not going to go back and press and stuff. He's not going to do the 10 hard pressing He has to play game. on the left, then. He has to play on the or left. Or the right. And he has to help. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. It doesn't work for us because we want the hard-working players. Like, players get dropped for less. So you're saying you're going to bring in Neymar and then Ten Hag's going to have expectation. Don't try and do a Sancho and chill. Just activate when you're in, on the ball. No, it don't work like that. You have to really get back and get involved. I think even well, like, even if I'm looking into the Martial situation, but maybe Martial was impressioned the way he did. Because to take off Martial and bring on Weghorst Mad. is insane at 58. With Martial first, going. And everyone playing bad. So obviously, he'll see, he saw something in terms of the work rate that he wasn't getting. And that's where course is in purely for work rate. So if you're going to bring in a different player and he's not going to offer the work, bro, a lot of managers have played under this, this regime. And I, it's a bit weird that he's getting shopped out. So which shows that something's wrong. They don't want him. They don't they're want they're him. dismantling that Galactico thing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That, that thing, the Harlem Globetrotters thing where it's it didn't work. Neymar, Messi, Mbappe. It's like, all right, you know what? Messi's dipping. He's going Saudi Arabia. Let's just, let's just done this whole thing. Yeah. Mbappe's the future. Like, we need to build around him. And even he might... You know, even that, you're not being that safe. You never know. know. Exactly. Over the next year or two, that's not safe. Maybe maybe not this summer because they're trying to get rid of Neymar and Messi's probably going to But I leave. will tear up... Listen, hear this though. <laughs> what I say before, you know that, that thingy, that, that conversation I was having just now? For Neymar, I wasn't willing to like yeah, yeah, address yeah. it. <laughs> See? <laughs> what, what was you doing Shake Jassim yeah. came in. And Shake Jassim. Shake Jassim. Man, like our tongues. If he came in and said... KG mm. will buy Mbappé, but there's issues on the left because he wants to play there. I'm saying, <laughs> hey, Rashford. <laughs> Bro, you got to learn how to play up front. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I say, Bo, on a serious note, <laughs> learn how You've to play. Got, no, you learn have to, how no, to play you when you say you have to learn. Play. No, what you do is, you always want to play up front, and you just say nothing <laughs> it. Remember, remember, number yeah. nine. No, no, no. The problem oh, is... No, no, you're going to be called R9. No, no. New brand. It can't be. Do He's getting nine shirt. Because I've got an issue. I've got another issue. Go on. I've still got Harry King. <laughs> Rash got to go got bench. Learn, hold on, I've got to say... you got to learn how to be an impact sub. No, you've got to learn how to play where they are not playing. <gasps> what, I just well, found 300, 300, 300 bag a week? What, I just found 300 bag a week? I'm, I'm Mr Man United. Me. 300 bad a week? What, do you want me to, what, I just stayed. Look what that guy's doing over there. <laughs> you know the other guy? <laughs> he's just there. Listen, Wait, he's standing there. Wait, he's just standing there like this. <laughs> Watching me talk to Russian. <laughs> and to I'm make that. sure you say I'm the in, right thing. I'm yeah. in there, you know when Draymond Green will talk to me, Zach? Like... <laughs> I'm near to... <laughs> I'm in the ration, I'm, I'm talking to him saying, even Mbappe knows what that conversation sounds like. No, I think Mbappe would want to play with Russia though. He'd love that. Because they message each other. Like, yeah, they're, they're, they're like, they're like cool. full Nike guys. But like where, though? How? Ca- I, I, How does it work? Because if you get... in the middle. Does he want to do that? I heard he didn't want to do that at PSG. Oh. If he's happy, to, if he's willing... We're talking mad bollocks. We're if never he was willing, though... Thing. No, we can't say that. If Will Sheikh Jassim comes in... <laughs> yeah, but that's all we now. Huh? All right, let's be in and out, then. Let's talk about Rabio. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Bro, Let's talk about Ravi on a free. The thing is, Newcastle got more chance to talk about Mbappe than we do. Bro, do you realise they're the richest club in the world? They are. Do you know how bad that Incredible. is? The team that has Dan Byrne and Longstaff in it playing yeah. now and Miggy Almer on that. Yeah. Man and have Jacob a, Murphy. Their man are going to have a rude Wait till awakening. Wait till they start. Bro, they're going to have a rude awakening. When that guy pulls up in the Maserati, or he pulls up in a big super... Maserati. He pulls up in the car and he's in a... You know when training in the morning? Yeah. <sighs> You're like, right, who's that? <sighs> look, don't read it. I won't. I'm saying, look, he's going, we did yeah. it. Yeah. And then I'm saying that. 
Yeah. Not many, not many teams are going to want to be in your Champions League group. Why? What? You think people want you? You think people under the lights want to go to St James's? First time in however many years in Champions League music playing. Do you not know about heritage and who? No. He's not going to want it. Do you think? How do you think Real Madrid will be afraid to play them? Not, not them. Not, not, not. Okay. Obviously, like Man City, but I'm saying like teams like. Don't say, 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 say this. Say this. You think Bayern don't no. want to go there? You think Bayern don't want to go there? You think Bayern don't want to go there? Bayern? Are oh, you? You don't respect I'm the. I'm going to say that? something mad. Go on. No. Bayern don't want to go and play that thingy. I, I think next season, yeah, I'll yeah. predict this. Saint James. Someone big is going to go there yeah, and touch. feel it. Like they're gonna arrive. What? As in, are they gonna? It might be in the group stage. Wait, or, are they gonna make yeah, changes? They, yeah, because they're gonna buy more players this summer oh, and turn no, up. Oh, you said as it is. No, you no, said no, man's gonna be saying raw. No, no, no. I was gonna say raw. I was gonna say. No, Dan Burn probably still be there. Probably yeah, be there. But, I'm but saying, like, no, he's gonna turn up some more. So there'll be a few more Gumiruses, a few more Isak level like man. Yeah. That them kind of man. Yeah. Someone next year there is gonna get moved to. Some. I don't know what big team it's gonna be, but an established Champions League team. Like, it could be in the echelon below because remember, if you look at the standard this year, ain't that great? Ace and Milan, Inter Milan are like, I know, you, I know it's like, who are they? They just got to the final in Milan, but the draw was quite on that side. It was very doable. Mm-hmm. You know, Tottenham flipping could have beat Ace and Milan, but they're so dead they couldn't. Ace and Milan didn't even do anything. Mm-hmm. Like, they, I think they got a nil nil in the second leg, they didn't even do anything. Like, who else? Juve ain't that no. If Juve, if Juve had to go uh, thing, uh, good um, Figgy Park. It'd be a bit of a conflict because of the kit, first thing. <laughs> you know, you're playing Beaver and you What's forget to change you? it. What's wrong with you? you, know, you but beaver. they're not going to do that in real life. They're not going to forget. Oh, I didn't realise the man they're they're playing black like... and white. Oh, bro. <laughs> fin- <laughs> nah, be man, serious. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Bro, if Juventus went. If you Juventus, Juventus hold on. Here's one. If Juventus went to St. James's Park tomorrow night, they'd get moved to. Really? Yeah. You had them up so high. Why didn't Leicester win then? Why didn't Leicester win? They should have. They didn't. They just hit the post and all that. It's yeah, a, it's one. No, I'm talking the real Champions League thing is right. We've never seen it, bro. We've never seen them. Like, it's been 20 years or something since they. It's like, there was a, I saw um, DR Sports posted. It was like. It's crazy um, one time. Bellingham wasn't born. They said, yeah. they said that, what do you call it? What else did I see? It said that RB Leipzig didn't exist and yeah. it was the invincible season. The last time, that's a long time ago. Of course. Yeah, so we don't know what they're going to be like. But again, they have to bring these players in the, the rude awakening. But can we join them is the question. Will we join them on Thursday night? Will we be... I want to do it on Thursday. Then I can just really... With that game... Excitement. I'm, you, I want to be so excited. Yeah. Like, this could be a really good season. This would yeah. be a really good season. At the end, I just want to get to a point when I can be like, fantastic. Well done, Man United. Again, not against the odds, but do you over? Um, I can't say overachieved, but no, you can in say terms that. Of I was going to ask you: Have we over? If we get in the top, if we finish third, yeah, which is now doable because Newcastle slipped up yesterday, yeah. Um, not that it matters, like third or fourth. I'm just saying, if we finish third mm-hmm. and don't win the FA Cup, and we've won the Carabao Cup, third and a cup. Have we overachieved? Not overachieved. You've achieved. You've done it. You had a really good season. So, but so over, saying overachieved means you no, expected something that I didn't expect. So no, did you expect o- to get a cup in third? No, but then you have to look at the level of the club though as well at the time. At the yeah, same but time, the club's not at that level. Now. I know what you're saying no, but it's still you know that thing when you do talk to rivals and say, well, you're still Man United though. Yeah, you so use it. You're not terms, saying you're better than them. The you're terms, saying for us, have we overachieved? No, for where we for where we were, which was mad. We finished the end last season six. six. Yeah, shocking. Our worst ever, our worst ever Premier League season. Our yeah. worst ever. Ever. Yeah. I would say um, it's been a it's been a really good it's been a good season. I can't say really good because in terms of the standards and where what we're supposed to be on, that's just care about. Yeah, but what was your predict? Where did you what did you? I think didn't have us did? in the top four. So no, so but get I'm, not to but you I'm uncomfortable with the word thought. overachieve because again, it's reminding ourselves that we because through the season we started to want more, right? Yeah, but so we, we started off, off. We're nowhere near that. I understand that, but then again, that's just it's almost like muscle memory. You you feel like raw. This is what Man United should be doing. I, was, I had this mad. I done this show with um, a Real Madrid fan, right? And he was so mad. He's like, Don Carlo out. I couldn't believe. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, that's the levels, bro. Isn't it? He's he just he won in Champions League. Like I couldn't believe it. And he goes, you don't understand standards. 
He'll say it to me, right, you don't understand this anymore. And but I we like, don't, because we've been, we haven't been, yeah. here. They've, continued, they've never not been in that club. There you go. So Man United, while, because um, we can't celebrate, even I watch um, the Newcastle manager say that it feel, it's kind of cool, but fourth is not a trophy. Like, you don't get to lift anything, right? The only way it could be an overachievement for me personally now is win the FA Cup. if we win the FA Cup. Yeah. And I say, you know what? This season, you've overachieved because one, um, again, you've got a brand new team, no striker, and you comp- you try to compete for a little bit, go into the top four, won the Carabao, won the FA Cup. Well done. But the standard should be Man United next season should be saying, okay, we have to be in the title race in the last week, last two weeks of the thingy. That's mm. hard to say that. That's what we should be aiming That's for. That's a big gap. That's what we should be aiming for. That's what we should be aiming for. Mm. You know what I mean? If we give Arsenal and all these teams um, a lot of stick for not winning it, right, then you're saying like, so we're asking them to do something that's impossible, right? Almost. And it's like, that's ridiculous then. We, that standard that we're saying that's put on them should be put on us. We should be trying to win the league next season. So our objective next year is win the league? Yeah, it's absolutely. And win the Champions League? That's, no, it has to. I don't say win everything. Yeah, I know, but, saying, it, but it's the objective is, win is to we're try in. and win of course. a major trophy. That's right. Like Carabao Cup, while it was good this season. It's not acceptable not be, again. It's not going to be acceptable no. again. You need it needs to be with other stuff. If, if, if we ever win that again anytime soon, because we've now won it in Eric Ten Hag's first season, just to say, just get something through the door, mm-hmm. winning breeds winning kind of thing. Yeah. You can't say it now. You can't yeah. say you can't, you can't really go back to that and say, yeah, it's just back-to-back Carabao Cups. No, nah, it's it horrid, don't. horrible. But that's what I'm saying. I know City, but but then term, City did it four times in a row. That's cool for them. But I'm saying that... But again, they were winning Premier playing, Leagues alongside They're just them. playing title. Like, they're playing almost like final goal in sentence, right? We're in a stage where Man United now need to be thinking, hmm... And that's why I said I couldn't say overachieve because we should just be thinking about big cups. Mm. We have to be thinking about big cups. Nah, I hear you. I hear you. It's, it's true. It's true. We should be thinking about big cups. And where we were last season, because now we'll, we'll wind it down in it, and we'll have like end of season, not I'm award show, but ascent, we'll have our debrief, breakdown, like the proper yeah, yeah, breakdown. Yeah, yeah. But because we're kind of in that mode, just if we take it to Thursday then against Chelsea, how much do you want to finish, finish third? Like, and, and, and you know what I mean? And I want to finish Chelsea third because up. of that guy that we did the clash with, Who? the Newcastle guy. Matty Renton. The, the one that came on here? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I want to finish third. Remember yeah, that he's the real Bruno thing? Yeah. It was an annoying conversation. Matty's done even worse than that. Matty's gone on record saying, oh, there's only one, n- n- there's only one United and, it, and it's Newcastle. It's not Man United. It's Newcastle. It's, that's the stuff there. Bite your groove. Ever since it's bite your groove. Bite your groove. Yeah! <laughs> you know, the end, laugh. It echoes out. It echoes out. Yeah, I need to. Ever since that day that we was sitting yeah. in the studio face to face and he was talking about his Bruno versus yeah. mine, I just didn't like it. Yeah. And I, from there, I just decided. Yeah. I, I, I promise you. You were like that as well. From you know, there, I, just, I just decided. I was like, You're no, like, we no. have to finish. Yeah, then he put some. And he should have got. He should have got sent off the other day. Where was the card? There you go. Where, if that was Bruno, if that was the, if that was the real Bruno. Yeah. If what? that was the real, real Bruno, Bruno. If that was the real Bruno Fernandez. If that was the real Bruno, he would have got a red card. Red card instantly. Oh, because, because, because the fake. Because the fake Bruno. The Bruno. Bruno G. He has to put extra thing next to his name because you don't even know it's him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a real Bruno. The ref, the, the ref didn't even give him the card. He felt. You know why? You know why Bruno? Because he felt sorry for you. He felt sorry for you and your family because you're not a real Bruno. <laughs> Wait, I can see him saying all of those things. <laughs> but it's true, no, I, as soon as he did that, as soon as it happened, Fleck, yeah, I was like, nah. So I just always decided we had to finish above Newcastle. Then I looked at it, it was like, right, it's looking tense. Yeah, just when get I in. Then he was like, just get in. Just Let's get just in the top get four. In that, of course. <laughs> but uh, again, a top four finish, third place finish will be nice because, again, it'll send a message to the um, other. Other people that tried to play with Ten Hag, when he first came in, suit was too big. You know all the stuff that I was saying? <laughs> That's like, ma- they were when, saying that. when he said that, mad my stuff. My man, what's his name? Uh, Simon, Simon Jordan. Jordan. They were saying mad it, yeah. stuff. Again, people calling the new Dubois. Like, there were so many different <laughs> statements, right? And it's like, can he, <laughs> can he, can he fix Eric, it? You know? A lot of disrespect, a pretender, all this other stuff that he yeah. tried to do, right? Now, if he goes in and does it, and if he, if he stops them, because these guys have been waxing lyrical about City doing the trouble already. It's not done yet. Even though it's, 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 it's likely, 
But you can only wax lyrical when it's done. Yeah, it's crazy because you know when Ten Hag said all oh, errors come to an end? Yeah. Obviously, people rather fans try and take that and say, ah, oh, now they're going to win the treble in your face. But if he, if he blocks them doing the treble, yeah, yeah, and then obviously Liverpool fell off like they did, mm -hmm. it's like, right, he said that statement and then he did a bit of a madness. No, like, it's it's a not, nothing's mutually no, linked a to that. To, it's a statement that it doesn't happen straight away. Of, it, of it's course, one, it's, it's like not when, in one season. When things say, We're gonna, I want to knock them off their yeah, pitch. Yeah, he went straight away, yeah. It took years. 100%, but I'm just saying, it, in, the, in the context of this season, even though that's not how it's measured, but because it kind of could be, because only because all errors come to end, and in that same thing, they're gonna travel. Mm. That sounds like a new error to me. <laughs> yeah, so man error. It's <laughs> like, a man error. It's, it's a, a bit. Error. It's a bit city dominated. Yeah. Done, no, I, I know that. That's, they have to do. No, that's what my point is. No, that's what my point is. Yeah. If that happens, yeah, it's like rah, kind of them words. Yeah, looks a bit mad. He said the errors come to the end. See you in no. trouble. But I feel kind but of. But if we stop it them doing it, Englandish right now. I feel like we're in a space here where it's like they are disrespected Inter in some space. Remember when we played England, played Italy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah this, they do the thing. Yeah. Coming yeah, home. we're hoping for and that. Said, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they said, yeah, yeah, nah, it's yeah, getting yeah. wrong. Remember they said they were mad. They was like, raw, like. You know we're playing, like, and that's how I feel. Like, yeah. even and you know scene, you ain't won nothing, in You ain't in, won. Like, you ain't yeah. played like until it's happened, and you're lifting the cup. Like, everyone shut up. Like, we're all on a level. Go on. You know, you're mash up, yeah. Don't know. You believe in? I don't know. I hope it doesn't. I hope... If, in, if, your, what, that, if, you, if I was to give you £5 right now, you got to put £5 on a bet. What are you betting? I'm going to lose probably lose £5 and still bet Inter. <laughs> you know me. I'm going to lose £5 <laughs> and still bet Inter. Yeah. And then I'll like, just share belief just to try. Just hope. Just hope. Yeah. Just yeah. hope. Again, I'll still do that, but... Mm. Again, no game is won on paper. You have mm. to show up. So even that, to, to bring us nicely to the Chelsea game, mm. still a foregone conclusion that we win. Bro, this could be a stink fest nil nil. Like it usually I'll is against Chelsea. I take it. I take oh, it. Oh, I just want. To we just. Want <laughs> I just want to qualify, so I'm not muddied. Honestly, that's this is the first time I've ever. Wait, have like, you got? Can I ask you a question? Have you got like a few things planned? Like just when you're certified in, or is it gone past? And I've done everything. Your mouth I've done everything. I've ran my mouth. But now I'm just like I don't want to get mudded. Yeah. And this is the one. What sort of mud? If 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 I'm we all right, can I ask you a question? Yeah. If because obviously we only need one point from two games. If we don't. Yeah. So say we say we took two L's on the trot, and we didn't get top four. There's no country that'll take me, fam. I won't get no visa application. I'm finished. No, honestly. And that's has been the scariest. The scariest thought is, what if Man United don't do it? Nah. To two London clubs. Nah, we have to respect our team more than that. No, nah, I do we have to respect them. I'm just nervous because I've been. I like, know what you mean. Usually, just, I know, I know. I could I have know. been, and uh, this would be like, this again. They'll save it for you. Like, the Karma world would save like this situation for you. Let you laugh at Arsenal, get a coffin out, do the thing, laugh at Liverpool. You've been yet say, oh, let's just finish above Newcastle. Let's say all these things to save that I'll be for you. Finished. I'll be f no. This is and you know me. I I've got, I would say I've got like thick skin, and there's a lot I can take. This one, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. And that's what I'm saying. Like it can't happen. Like, I'm really, oh, I'm really hoping that mud. we can just get. Now nah, we're being too negative. Anyway, talk, no, stop we're not going to be. We're not being negative. Like it's we the are. We're talking about the the no, most hideous thing out. happening. Yeah, that's the most hideous. We've got to stop thinking about it. And but then after fight it, all the players. <laughs> every every player. No, nah, no. Nah, if I nah. said to you, oh, we got Karen, we have to do an interview with whatever, would you use and it as an opportunity it, to like. Oh, it was after it. they bottled that, though. Yeah. If that happened. You know that thing? Have you seen them little them videos where they throw someone a pillow and they just swing it out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that's the only way it can happen, innit? You know, you dash one and it's. <laughs> you just swing it out, bro. The wildest pillow fight where the feathers be popping out, fam. It has to be one of those because it'll be like. But the Man United players understand. They can't allow this moment to go this way. No. I wanted to talk to you about, um, again, like, when it finishes, you know, David Gea winning the Golden Glove. That's a good moment. Have you... I just want to ask your thoughts. Have you changed your position as dance on David Gea? You still feel the same? Because then you know my video, he's got to go, he's got to go. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Where are you now? Are you lightened up? What, have I changed and said, no, nah, actually, no, nah, I want him to stay. I want him to be number one. I don't know. No, nah, right? I haven't changed. Okay. Fine. I haven't changed. Um... I did, I did when he made them big saves against Wolves. Mm -hmm. No, um, 
Bournemouth the other day. Yeah. You know, the big saves. The big yeah. saves. And he has done that a lot over this season. But what I've, what I've learned to do with, with David, forget the sentiment, because obviously the respect and the love for him is always there. Yeah. He's a great guy. He always gives us time. Like, he's, he's cool. But, like, I've learned to separate, like, because he's achieved that achievement, that doesn't, that doesn't then give the pass to mean that you are the correct thing having to go forward, though, just because you've done that. Do you know what I mean? I feel like the, the keeper that comes in, though, if there's going to be another one, which is why I do look at it with Ten Hag, you need to be sure that he's 100% better. And, red, and not just better, ready for Manchester really United. Really United yeah. More so, ready. Because you can even, you could say, this guy's got the attributes, I know he's better than Ten Hag. Mm -hmm. Is he ready for Man United yet, though? And that's the thing. You know? um, and I think that's why even Marcel did say it, to be fair. This is why... The hair is going to stay, uh, which is the right, which I don't mind. I know everyone says no, 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 no. But also the financial climate that we're in, I still mm -hmm. stand by what I was saying, even though, but even before, because uh, I'm not changing my mind here. You guys saw it. I said, yep, I've seen it. I shook Marcel's hand. I said, I'm sorry. I said it to Cam. But what we do have to be aware of is the financial climate we're in. And actually, although it's a horrible situation, what we're in with the ownership and we don't know what's going on, how much money we've got to spend. I believe it's actually a situation that's helping the hair. I think if we had an, more, an embarrassment of riches and was a lot more stable and could easily splash but money in the keeper. There's a lot of players that could be looked at like that though. Absolutely, and, 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 and it could. And players that we keep a bit tired of seeing all the time, mm -hmm. they could end up still staying maybe one more time because mm -hmm. in this little period, it's really hard and we have to get Kane Osman or Vlajevic. We have to get a Kim Min Jae or something like that. We have to get a proper midfielder mm -hmm. as a three of absolute priorities. And I know some people are going to be screaming at home saying, yeah, and we have to get a keeper as well, Flex. We must. But the way I think Ten Hag sees it is, look at Dean Henderson. I don't think Dean Henderson's going to want to come back and play second fiddle. I know he shouldn't be given the God-given right to come back and be number one. I agree with that. But Forrest, there was reports the other day that Forrest still want to make him permanent, even though he's had really? a bad injury. And he's one of our most sellable assets. Sell him. So you're going, to, you're going to sell him. But if David De Gea is moving like that, it got to the point, I ain't going to lie, in the mad thing, in the mad... Situations where he was doing Benarama, the mad one. The Ben Rama special. I went, Rado, but bro, what? We ain't got peas. Just let him come back and see a bit. No. For a season. Just, you know what I mean? But that's not, I don't believe that's going to happen. He doesn't like, he's, he's, gonna, he's, not good, he's not good at being a second keeper. Exactly. Not, and to be fair to him, waiting. though. He's not good yeah, at waiting. Yeah, but to be fair to him, he's done a lot of waiting. It's not, it's not, I know you just think he's a thing. No, that, no, yeah. I don't think like that. But think, think about just, it, no, but think about it. Yeah, but he has for ages. No, but being the number two, you have to wait, bro. You yeah, I know, look at Romero. Like, yeah, yeah, he's done the same Man thing. Man will wait. But, like, he, but he's had thing. a taste and got promised by Oli. That's not, that's not Tenok's fault. Oli promised him the world, not, not this manager. Do you know what I mean? So you have to come back. It's a blank canvas. It's a new manager. You better get your ass back and prove it to him. Mm -hmm. but, but at his age and his stage now, he wants to, I just think he wants to go and play. So I think if Forrest said, look, we're going to make you number one, I think it just, I think it just did that. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's what's hard. Maybe if Everton, Everton come in for him or something, if, if Pickford went Tottenham or something. I think that will happen. Something. Or Henderson to Tottenham. Actually, hold on. One second. Something in that. No, because that's championship settings because is Everton saying? Is Everton saying? Oh, not to the last day. Yeah, you don't know, actually, to be fair. That's what I'm that's saying. That could get oh, Spurs, game Spurs, change. Spurs, Spurs. He'd be I good want Spurs. Spurs to take Harry Maguire. That's let's, why, let's, that's give, let's give them Spurs and, Ma and let's give uh, them Maguire and Henderson. The expressions got Harry Maguire. He'd be Finnish. He'd be Finnish. I'd listen. I'd give him a twenty pound. I'd give him a twenty pound super chat. <laughs> but I'll just be he he he. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did? I could use more space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty pounds. All right. Um, before we wrap up, give me your prediction then for Thursday. Actually, will we? Before we play, oh no, it'll be the end of the season by the time we come back here next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Be done and dusted. We can have a oh we can we can have can a flexi KG, we can have a flexi KG like award show and we can oh we can use the thingy <sighs> and give man Josh. Josh 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 that tactical view setup you got for Cam yeah 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 set yeah, it up yeah, for yeah, flexi KG yeah, yeah, all yeah, the players yeah 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 where they go they're here they're here anyway yeah. um, give me your prediction last couple of games um, we're getting two Ws two home wins. You think Chelsea's going to be a draw, don't you? And then you think we pull them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see why you think that, because the Chelsea ones draw, are... We should be mashing them up, but... Draw, beat Fulham. And then after, you know, Ten Hag comes out, does the wicked speech. Oh, he's going gonna... gonna... to... And then, we, and then he'll, talk, he'll tell us about the final. He'll say, everybody, so do, ready for the we final. We go to Wembley together, eh? Yeah. 
We beat Manchester City to get here. We stopped the treble to get here. He shouldn't mention the treble. No, and he won't. He won't. And he oh, because you say, I need you. Yeah. Okay. Smash the like on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Flexing KG Show. Peace.